नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एंजय ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन अराउंड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ द प्लैनेट सैटन व्हिच इज अबाउट इट्स एस्पेक्ट हाउ सैटन्स एस्पेक्ट इन्फ्लुएंसेस द रिजल्ट ऑफ अदर प्लैनेट्स दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस वीडियो सो गाइस एज पर अवर लूनर कैलेंडर कैलकुलेशन सो वी विल बी हेडिंग टुवर्ड्स द birth anniversary of the planet saturn like the way for example um, as per the hindu lunar calendar the jeshth mas and the new moon of it amavasya of it which uh, this year is going to be falling on june 6th is generally celebrated as the birth anniversary of the planet saturn so if you are subscribed to all the uh, like hindi portals specifically dedicated to astrology you would have already started getting the and receiving the updates about which remedies to do how saturn is going to be bringing good results uh, specific to your rising sign to your moon sign so i just thought i also have certain list of things which i want to share but i thought we still have lot many days and this video is going to be saturday special so we can just have our discussion on this important feature of the planet saturn like the way guys i always say this thing even if you will go to any of the temple of the um, lord shani uh, planet saturn so generally it has been advised that uh, always refrain from looking uh, straight uh, in the eyes of the planet saturn it will be much more better that if you can uh, see or do your prayers on a diagonal but not right in front of it so that is the only reason guys like when we talk about the innate nature of the planet saturn and the way it influences so more than the house where saturn is placed its aspect definitely going to have a very stronger impact or influence so definitely we will have our discussion on that that how saturn's aspect influences all other planets results customized to all the lagnas because definitely after listening to this video you will be getting curious but the result is going to vary from a uh, lagna to lagna and over there as well i will be sharing my own inputs because if you will go by the language of the classical text uh, language has been used little bit very strict and very harsh and there has been little bit things which needs to be updated so definitely in this video i will try to share my inputs my research and whatsoever you want to add uh basis your own research your own findings please feel free to write it in the comment section so okay guys now uh, let's first cover all the 12 rising signs and try to understand the role of the planet saturn or try to conclude that okay for which all rising sign saturn becomes a favorable planet for you so guys when we talk about the role which saturn plays for the aries lagna natives so definitely guys saturn has got a rulership over your 10th house and your 11th house that means the more you will work hard Saturn is going to give you result accordingly. Second thing is that um, the Aries Lagna native might have to work very hard when it comes down to their line of work. But these are among those people who end up becoming a very good and renowned philanthropic as well. This is how they get perceived in the society. But guys, like the way a lot many people say this thing that just looking at the rising sign that Aries is ruled by the planet Mars, which does not get along very well with the planet Saturn. So people come to this conclusion that okay, for Aries Lagna, Saturn is not a favorable planet. But trust me, guys. Okay, I understand this thing that Saturn has got a rulership of the eleventh house, which is not considered as a very benefic house, but still. um just because it has got a rulership over one uh, kendra bhava as well so i would rather would use this term that for aries lagna natives a well placed saturn actually becomes the raj yog karaka capacity to give you power throne attainment uh now guys when we talk about the taurus lagna natives definitely guys for you saturn becomes a yog karaka planet so we can look at it in this way that only if you will follow ethics integrity and moral saturn can actually give you lasting fame in your line of work as well and yes saturn is a yog karaka very auspicious planet for you for the gemini lagna natives definitely guys saturn has got a rulership over your 8th house and the 9th house but the mool trikona sign falls in the uh, auspicious trine house because of which definitely saturn is a important planet for you favorable planet for you along with that um, saturn has got this role to play that if a gemini lagna native is invested in research or scientific pursuit they can and in these kind of pursuit generally luck also support them so they can actually do something which is very unique and where they will have a name or they will be able to have their unique monopoly in that field in terms of their expertise like the way we say this thing that okay in astrology as well 
uh, when it comes down to matchmaking this is the guy who has got expertise over there we do not know how he uh, does decoding but he has got something about him that whatsoever he predict it always happens to be true so that sort of knowledge and wisdom but yes in a nutshell saturn is a favorable planet for you now guys when we talk about the cancer lagna natives definitely guys in your case saturn is not a favorable planet for you because of the rulership over the seventh house and the eighth house but guys the good part is that only if Saturn is going to be well placed in the chart of a Cancer Lagna native, these are among those people who gain a lot through marriage, through partnership, through union. But yes, um, in a nutshell, when we talk about a planet which has got a capacity to bring hardship, struggle, delays in your life, Saturn is responsible for that. Now guys, when we talk about the Leo Lagna natives, definitely guys, in your case, uh, Saturn has got a rulership over your 6th house and the 7th house. It is not a favorable planet for you and somehow it is very anti towards your ascendant lord planet sun as well and that is the only reason guys like out of all the couples out there if a leo lagna native is going to get married to a aquarius lagna definitely there is going to be a law of attraction opposite nature is going to attract but these are among those people who have to go through a lot of hardship even in the marriage as well but yes guys only if a Leo Lagna native person is going to inculcate the traits and virtues of unconditional service, Saturn can actually give them that lasting fame in their life as well. But yes, Saturn is not a favorable planet for you guys. Now guys, when we talk about the Virgo Lagna natives, definitely guys, in your case, uh, Saturn has got a rulership over the uh, fifth house and the sixth house. Saturn in a way is a karaka of the sixth house as well. And because of the friendship or affinity which Saturn has with the Virgo Lagna natives, so Saturn becomes a important or favorable planet or like kind of a we can say this thing a functional benefit for the virgo lagna natives um, now guys when we talk about the uh, libra lagna natives definitely guys saturn is a yokarka planet for you because of the rulership over your fourth house and the fifth house and that is the only reason uh, like when we talk about fifth house fourth house these are two houses which are very strongly intricately connected with the power with the public with the throne and all of that so i have seen the charts of lot many presidents and people in the top of the game with the influence of the libra with the influence of the swati nakshatra so yes saturn is a very very important planet for you so in a way see we have to take into consideration its placement in the chart as well but individually its aspect is definitely going to have something good in store for you now guys when we talk about the scorpio lagna natives so guys for uh, the scorpions uh, saturn is not a very favorable planet and it has also been seen that uh, sade sati tend to um, go very hard very difficult for the scorpio moon natives as well this could be a case that there's a lot of pent up energies and your inability to let go see <laughs> when we talk about the cancer they can even uh, you know shed some tears but they still learn the lesson and then move on but the scorpions find it very difficult to let go and these are among those people who saturn then become more unrelenting force to break them down and just because there is a lot of tendency with the scorpions to be a reservoir of all the secrets and all those things which they have done in secrecy in darkness so because of which um, there is a po possibility and tendency that um, the if Saturn is not going to be well placed in their chart, it is going to create much more trouble and kind of, you know, more problems for the Scorpions. But again, guys, uh, Saturn only is responsible, like in the case of Lot many Scorpio Lagna native, who are able to, um, um, you know, reach those uh, important inner circle of any country, of any societies, because of their own initiated efforts. Without any privilege, entitlement, any lineage, with your own due diligence, hard work, you have gotten to be a part of that inner circle of the societies and all, all the elites and all. So that sort of potential and capacity Saturn bestows. Only if you are living your life as per the principles of the planet Saturn, which we will soon uh, discuss. Now guys, when we talk about the Sagittarius Lagna natives, definitely guys, in your case, um, like uh, both the, like the second house is a killer house. Uh, when we talk about the third house, that is also a like, not a very auspicious house so because of which uh, saturn is not a very favorable planet for the sagittarius lagna natives so definitely when we will be talking about the aspect and you have to take it into consideration that okay the basis the placement of the saturn in your chart and the role which it plays for your lagna then only you have to decide or decode what its aspect truly is going to be doing in your life 
Now guys, when we talk about the Capricorn Lagna natives, definitely guys, it is your ascendant lord. Saturn has got this capacity, like you know, like when we talk about attainment of position, power, people who become presidents and all of that, generally you will find that Capricorn energy to be working out prominently in their life. Majority of the planets being in the Capricorn, Capricorn Lagna, or like this could be Saturn in the Capricorn, Moon sign in Capricorn. So a lot many ways, but Capricorn is the very conducive energy. And the good part about the Capricorn Lagna native is that Saturn actually makes them aware about their duties, responsibilities, right from a very young age, early age. Now guys, when we talk about the Aquarians, so definitely guys, Aquarians uh, for them, Saturn is their ascendant lord. A very auspicious planet for them and only if an Aquarius um, person inculcate the values of unconditional service charity giving back to the society trust me Saturn can actually take them to the peak of their chosen field and yes Saturn is a very favorable planet for them now guys when you talk about the Pisces Lagna natives so definitely guys even for the Pisces Lagna natives as well so Saturn is not a very good planet for them and as you can freely see that uh, it has got a rulership of the house of their friends and house of their expenses and the losses so their own people pull them down a lot in terms for the Pisces Lagna natives this dictum gets applicable very strongly at one stage they get betrayed by their friends or their own well-being people in their own circle rather than pushing them towards their goals their ambition they are like pulling them down and all so these all are the things which Pisces Lagna natives generally go through I remember guys uh, like um, there's one shrine in India Tirupati Balaji so over there um, like I when I went there for my pilgrimage I got in touch with the people I found I met in the queue and they were telling me that like they were like those people who um, you know at their shop they have put a separate kind of a lock system just for whatever money they make they uh, put I guess 20% or 15% of their income in that and uh, after like every month or once in two months they go to Tirupati Balaji and they donate those percentage of the earning which they keep it aside for the God. So only if a Pisces Lagna native will inculcate this habit, trust me, Saturn can actually take them to the peak of the game. So yes, guys, now after this, what do you get to know so far? So, so far we got to know this thing that yes, for the uh, Leo, for the um, Cancer, for the Scorpio, for the Sagittarius, for the Pisces, Saturn is not a very favorable planet for them. Now guys, when we talk about the, um, like all the Lagnas, so definitely Capricorn, Aquarius, ruled by Saturn, Taurus, Libra, where Saturn is the Yoga Karaka, uh, to an extent for the um, Gemini, for the Virgo, for the Aries as well, Saturn holds this capacity to bestow some good results. And yes, for the Sagittarius and for the Pisces, Saturn will lean more on towards creating little bit kind of problem in their life as well not a very good planet for the uh, these rising sign now guys when we talk about the lessons which we need to learn in order to extract the good results from the planet saturn so definitely see uh, i still remember uh, i don't know uh, did i read it somewhere in the book or i heard it in some video or someone told me in person but yes actually whatsoever planet is ruling you try to think from the point of view and from the perspective of that planet if you want to extract the good results out of it so definitely if you are strongly ruled by the planet saturn like even from numerology being born on a 8th 17th 26th your moon nakshatra being a pushya or being anuradha or your important planets concentrated in the aquarius or in the capricorn you are in the dasha of the planet saturn and you are like um, so all what you need to do is that the way I mentioned this thing that you have to start thinking the way Saturn thinks. So Saturn just wants you to be of use to the society, to the community. Like the way we, we say that, uh, okay, even in India, there's one province, like in southern part of India. So um, there's a very famous actor from there, legendary actor, like his name is Rajini Kant. So he is so loved by the masses that even if you are traveling in a local transport, you will not even have the guts to say it or to do any bad mouthing about him people in the in the in the in that transit in that city uh, bus only are going to you know uh, roughen you up so what i'm trying to say over here is that uh, saturn wants you to do something unconditionally for the common man only if you will inculcate th these habits definitely saturn can make you a king in your line of work saturn can actually completely turn around your life only if 
your life is dedicated devoted to the well-being of the society to every um, like any other common man and there is no single trace of ego or entitlement in your behavior in your personality so these all are the lines in which saturn wants you to behave again guys if you are strongly being ruled by the planet saturn and if you will be like a cry baby that okay everything is getting delayed in my life whatsoever i have to do i have to work extra hard and all so trust me saturn will not start giving you good results like the way if you know that story of the uh, harish chandra uh, if i'm not wrong so when he realized this thing that okay he has bad mouthed about saturn and he uh, you know he laid down uh, on the feet of the planet saturn to ask for the forgiveness to which saturn said okay even if i will forgive you right now uh, you will not have a practical life experience of the mistake which you have committed and this is what saturn does it makes you learn through the life's practical experience through the test and trials of the life so yes guys if even if saturn is creating some obstacle in your life it, it is delaying something in your life so trust me it is a planet of justice so saturn can delay but it never denies and trust me whatsoever you are hard bent on achieving or getting in this stage of the life when you are being operated upon by the planet saturn and he is grilling you making you work very hard and what you are very solely you want to achieve in the life it is not um, granting you that so there must be something much bigger and better waiting for you which is in store for you which you do not know saturn knows much better than you so yes guys this is about basic things about the planet saturn which i wanted to talk now uh, let's shift our discussion to understanding the planetary aspect specifically the aspect of the planet saturn on your other planets so like the way guys we know this thing that, that like any other planet saturn also has got a seventh aspect like the house where it is sitting it aspect or influences the attributes of the house right opposite to it it has a additional third aspect it has an additional 10th aspect as well now the way it has been seen and observed by majority of the astrologers that third aspect tend to remain very restraining like you know when we talk about uh, creating a break over there or trying to slow you down in the matters of the house third to it like wherever saturn is sitting the house third to it where saturn is going to be influencing with its third aspect somehow saturn act as a restraining force when we talk about the straight seventh aspect of the planet saturn definitely it's like you have come in the line of the fire so that is going to be the aspect over there you will definitely find yourself like uh, life is uh, putting a lot of pressure over you other people are not like being very supportive towards you everyone is being very judgmental towards the house where um, like opposite to where saturn is sitting so you will definitely find that everyone is judging you beyond doubt no matter how best you are performing but still you are being judged upon by the society right opposite to the house where saturn is sitting and lastly guys when we talk about the uh, the 10th aspect of the planet saturn so generally it has been seen that after passing the test of the planet saturn after passing the test of the time generally the house 10th from the planet saturn blooms in our life and generally saturn gives the result in the second half of the life with second half i mean to say post 36 years of age so this is what you have to keep in mind whenever you are decoding strength dignity of the planet saturn okay guys now after getting an idea about like almost 18 minutes of video just to do the setup just to uh, create a environment for the real discussion which is now going to be about how saturn influences other planets with its aspect so guys to begin with like the way we uh, let's take up the case of in a sequence with the planet sun so if saturn is influencing the planet sun that too in a chart where saturn is not a very favorable planet for your lagna like you being a, a cancer lagna leo lagna or scorpio lagna so or sagittarius or pisces lagna and if in your case saturn is going to be expecting sun in your natal chart now this could be with its third aspect this could be with its uh, straight aspect this could be with its 10th aspect so generally guys it has been seen that see um, see when we talk about your public image and your reputation you will always find this thing that there is going to be some sort of mounting pressure over you irrespective of the fact that due to your own diligence you have attained that position but still after that you are not that free and independent to perform like the way guys this is the case with lot many 
uh, IAS officers, uh, like top bureaucracy in India, where you will find them that they are the best brains beyond any doubt. They have best of the capacity and intention to serve the nation. But even after that, they get posted under those politicians who put a lot of pressure under them. So this could be one such case. Now, definitely, guys, uh, let's say, for example, if now the interpretation will vary in such a way that if Saturn is a favorable planet for you. So let's say, for example, you are a Taurus Lagna, you are a Libra Lagna, Capricorn Lagna, Aquarius Lagna. Saturn is well placed as well. And then if um, like um, if it is well placed as well and then it is expecting the planet sun in your natal chart, then definitely there is going to be pressure. But somehow you will have this capacity to not get bogged down because of that, to not get annoyed or Perspective of the pressure coming towards you, it is helping you to function much better. It is helping you like the way, for example, they're like those politicians, uh, if you're working as an IS officer. So they might be putting a lot of pressure under you, but these are among those people who give a good word for your further promotions as well, to further postings as well. So this is how you can see that if Saturn is going to be a, uh, a favorable planet for you, Lagna, it is going to be well placed. And then if it is going to be expecting your planet sun, definitely you will be grilled. You will be under pressure. Your public image, your reputation is going to be under pressure, but it is not going to malign you. But in those cases where we come across that uh, in your service, you were not able to rise because you did not get the support of the right set of bosses. There was always some conspiracy pressure behind you. So that could be one of those probable outcome. Now, guys, when we talk about if Saturn is influencing your natal moon. So again, guys, like the way I mentioned this thing that when it comes down to the planet Saturn, so somehow more than Saturn and moon being conjunct in the same house, because in lot many cases it has been seen. We say this thing in um, like the way in there is one dialogue in uh, one of the Indian movie. I guess it was Rockstar of Ranbir Kapoor that when your heart will break in love, then only you will become a good musician or a poet. So same way, a um, lot of people with an afflicted moon become very good healer, become very good astrologer. Trust me, I've seen this combination in many charts. So I mean to say in a way, Saturn moon conjunction in the same house can still make you a very good healer or an astrologer as well. But when we talk about the aspect of the planet Saturn over the moon is a little bit difficult. Over there, there is always, see, I have come across like those people where there is not that actual pressure which you have created in your mind. So those people who are, see, there is one thing where you, you are meticulous, like a typical Virgo. You want to do your job right. But there are like certain cases where you are just in this fear that what will happen? I will be bashed. I will be scolded. I will be uh, punished if I did not do my job right. So there is always this some sort of looming fear over them. And again, guys, see, the thing is, if Saturn is conjunct with moon, you know that where exactly this fear is happening. This is what your personality is. You were born at a time of the Sade Sati. But when the Saturn is influencing this moon in your natal chart with like this could be third aspect, straight aspect or the 10th aspect, somehow pressure of uh, performance, pressure of, uh, you know, uh, being seen as successful in the society, that pressure always remains. Like the way a lot of times you have seen that even after doing good in their job, in their family life and all, people are still in this pressure that, oh, how I will be perceived in the society, how much I have done in the society in my life. So that sort of pressure always looms around in the life of the native, in the mind of the native. Now, guys, when we talk about uh, Saturn expecting the planet Mars in your natal chart. So definitely, guys, it is a different combination. But see, the thing is in certain way, like the way uh, age old wisdom says that if uh, Mars and Saturn, they both are calling you always go with the planet Saturn because it only has good things in store for you. Mars is a very youthful rebellious adamant kind of you know um, rebelled kind of youth who does not even know that whatever his adrenaline rush is driving it towards is it good for him or not but when we talk about the planet saturn it, it always has good in store so in lot many cases it has been seen that people who are like um, you know um, who are able to channel their anger their drive their intensity in the right direction because this could be they got some age old wisdom because of uh, some sort of guru some sort of mentor some very practical uh, guide 
who has mentored this person or given the right direction to the energy and the efforts and endeavors of that person so this could be seen in this light so saturn's aspect on the planet mars can also make you a very good engineer as well can also give you success in the lines of technology ai and you know where you are making use of the tech knowledge which you possess in order to do something good for the society as well like lot many people who uh, you know it's like uh, there's a typical one film in india uh, in bollywood i guess swades so where that guy he was doing very good in nasa or i do not know which uh, which agency but he came back to his country to his ancestral natal village now he wanted to do something for the for the well-being of the society and all so generally saturn's aspect can actually make you very philanthropic very humanitarian and this is how their success their recognition their fame comes to them uh, now guys after that let's say for example if uh, saturn in any way is aspecting your mercury in your natal chart so again guys this is a good combination in this regard that when we talk about see um mercury is a planet of your intelligence mercury is a planet of like we say your discriminatory intelligence and your business acumen and in lot many cases it has been seen that people who have got a very powerful backing see you might be doing your business very good from one outlet but there are like those cases where suddenly a phase come a period came and that person turned that business into multiple franchisee he started operating from multiple outlets so in these kind of circumstances where we talk about the supply chain distribution management or going big expanding your influence of your brand of your services of your offering of your name so saturn plays a very important role and if saturn is somehow backing the backing and the support is coming in from the planet saturn and it also has got good reputation or good friendship and meet um, i mean to say good friendship with the planet mercury as well so we can say this thing now again guys everything varies now let's say for example if the same is taking place in the chart of the cancer lagna so we know this thing that uh, both mercury and saturn are not very favorable for the cancer lagna natives so it all comes down to individual to individual in which chart it is taking place but let's say for example uh, if you will take up the case like for example uh, even in the case of the uh, aries lagna if mercury is going to be placed in the 11th house saturn is going to be expecting it from its uh, like when we talk about the uh, 9th house so this still holds this capacity to manifest good results as well so guys all what i can say is that uh, specifically for a planet like mercury and they're like certain lagnas like when you talk about taurus libra or uh, capricorn aquarius so saturn's aspect to the uh, natal mercury in your chart in lot many cases has only good in store to offer to the good functioning of the energies of the planet mercury now guys when we talk about saturn expecting your natal jupiter in your chart so definitely guys um, this could be seen as in this way that see jupiter is a planet of wisdom of benevolence the only reason why jupiter attains debilitation in the uh, kal purush kundli's 10th house in the capricorn sign because jupiter is like a teacher is like a preceptor who's not very practical in day to day um, uh, mundane life activities where even after giving your services jupiter will be hesitant in enough even to ask for the right amount of charge for the services being offered so this is where generally the aspect of the planet saturn works out in favor of the native second thing is that see guys a lot many times it has been seen and which is a case in today's modern day age when even the girls who have got a very strong jupiter they're not able to get married on time because their degree and sense of expectation and idealism is so high so over there as well the aspect of somehow restrains the um, the idealism or tones down the idealism of the planet jupiter to the um, to the sense of realism so over there definitely uh, saturn's aspect to this planet jupiter if let's say for example um, uh, in the case of the taurus lagna or the libra lagna capricorn aquarius or gemini or virgo in certain way the aspect of the planet saturn to the uh, planet jupiter can actually work out in your favor as well so in lot many ways toning down your uh, degree and sense of re, um, your um, you know expectation idealism along with that uh, the way i mentioned this thing that lot many times what happen uh, jupiter can also become little bit egoistic as well of the wisdom and the knowledge which it is carrying like the way guys if when if you will go by um, the whole advent 
of all these um, astrological knowledge there used to be a time when um, the astrological knowledge was only used by the head priest in the court of the king only to advise the king normal people were being uh, deprived of this knowledge and along with that guys even today like there have been those tradition and families where the knowledge of all this like all the secret sutras they only get passed from one generation to another generation and it has still been kept secret so in those kind of circumstances definitely if saturn is going to be expecting this planet jupiter it has this capacity to make use of your wisdom of your knowledge for the well-being of the society for the help of every other person this is how you can see the results of this aspect of the planet saturn now guys when we talk about um, saturn expecting venus in your natal chart so definitely guys these both planets have got a very good rep very good reputation with each other relationship with each other venus is the yokaraka in these signs ruled by the saturn saturn is the yokaraka in these signs ruled by the venus they also have got a very good friendship as well so definitely guys all the qualities of the venus will definitely get reinforced like i can assure you if venus is not being expected by the planet saturn these people tend to become so romantic so loving that they get betrayed because of their this bohemia their this loving nature they are being taken advantage of so saturn's aspect definitely brings the sense of realism over there and again guys i remember there was one this book i was reading that someone mentioned that okay if your fifth house is going to be that strong people say that it is going to be responsible for love marriage what is the assurance and guarantee that the same love will not keep on happening with the period of time so if saturn is expecting venus it definitely makes it very realistic it definitely uh, makes you aware about the uh, the rules and custom of the society as well so the aspect of the planet saturn on the venus tend to function in a very good way second thing is that see guys uh, venus also tells about your artistic creative talents as well your magnetism as well so we have seen the only difference between that you come across you find a very successful actor and someone who irrespective of being talented was not able to do good in the life because the guy who did good was well supported by the right set of agent and the agents and the organizations and the corporates which were backing which was supporting that actor which was supporting that artist so in this way we can definitely say this thing that the aspect or any influence of the planet saturn over the venus specifically in the ascendant in the lagnas where uh, both of these two planets are favorable like gemini virgo capricorn aquarius taurus libra so definitely in their case it can actually make you very uh, dutiful and it will also make you very loyal in your relationship as well so saturn's aspect and influence on the planet venus generally manifest good results and guys when we talk about saturn's aspect on the rahu and ketu so guys definitely when we talk about saturn influencing rahu is always a very good energy specifically if you're doing something in the lines of the uh, like mass media uh, uh technology something which is very innovative something very which is very new age see guys understand this thing all those people who talk about that uh, rahu is responsible for fame rahu is responsible for global fame but you have to understand this thing that okay you had one very lucky day where suddenly you went viral but your ability to capitalize on that is generally seen with how other planets are well placed and supporting it and it's the planet saturn only and the planet jupiter which can control this rahu and i would say that more than the jupiter like jupiter can actually control it through wisdom and all but saturn can actually make you very realistic as well that okay you want to be famous you want to be unique but you're ready to work hard as well otherwise if left on its own rahu will not hesitate in cutting corners doing something which is illegal which is questionable as well so in this way saturn's aspect on the rahu somehow tones it down somehow controls it and guys uh, when we talk about the aspect of the planet saturn over your ketu in the natal chart so guys it is a very difficult um, thing to decode we all know this thing that uh, ketu is a very uh, relentless a uh, non compromising planetary vibration and force like you can control the malefic effect or result of any planet through remedy and all but when it comes down to ketu it is not even open for negotiation so um 
स्टॉपिंग समथिंग विच इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्गली गेटिंग प्रोमिस्ड इन द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ केतु इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो द वे वी कैन से दिस थिंग दैट द एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द प्लानिट सैटन ऑन द केतु इज गुड फॉर दोज पीपल लाइक स्पेसिफिकली हु आर सम हाउ डेडिकेटेड डिवोटेड टू रिसर्च uh intuitive faculties like developing their intuitive faculties or doing something specifically where intuition and relying on the uh forces of the nature is required so again guys the way i mentioned this thing if your life is purely governed by and defined by the energy of one planet if that is ketu mm-hmm. and you are also like the job of an astrologer is always to put you in the direction which is in line with your planetary time periods planetary alignments planetary strength so if you are being ruled by ketu you are also living the life represented by ketu you know nature um, um all these things like you know plant based diet meditation yoga uh, developing your intuition doing something for the society well being of the society exploration living on your own doing lot of research trying to gain specialization in your line of work and for this ketu if this ketu is going to be getting aspected by the planet saturn it will definitely reinforce it it will actually give you this capacity to do meditation for long hours it will definitely help you but let's say for example if the nodal axis is very afflicted in the chart of someone where you know someone who is already like the way i always say this thing rahu distort your mind um rahu can actually a bad rahu definitely make someone criminal but when we talk about those dreaded criminals you know people who are in the uh, body organ uh, smuggling uh, rackets and people who are like you know uh, dreaded criminals with very um, a long list of uh, some heinous crimes and all so that is also being represented by the ketu because ketu has completely cut off your senses that it does not any one's pain misery does not bother you anymore and if this badly placed ketu is going to be getting aspected by the planet saturn so these are among those people who end up uh, bringing shame to humanity via indulging in rarest of rare crimes and doing something which is very horrible so yes guys this is something which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs uh, this is something which i have attempted uh, with my own observation with my own intelligence i do not know how less or big it is but i will look forward to your suggestion in the comment section if you agree with me it's fine if you do not you have something more to add i'll be very grateful for reading your comments in the reading your inputs in the comment section so yes guys for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on my instagram account then you are